two million people in the West bracing for Hurricane Hillary. This extremely rare storm has grown into a massive Category 4 hurricane. The effects of the storm are already being felt in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, with high winds and torrential downpours. Right now, people from San Diego to Los Angeles are preparing for the worst beginning over the weekend as Southern California is under its first ever tropical storm watch. The massive storm packing 130 mile an hour winds is expected to weaken as it moves closer to land, but could become the first tropical storm to make landfall in California in more than eight decades. Forecasters say some areas of California and Nevada could see 10 inches of rain. CBS's Carter Evans will start us off tonight from along the California coast. Southern California is taking advantage of the calm before the storm. Building berms to protect beach communities from high surf and swift water rescue teams are on standby. We are getting ready now ahead of this event as it makes landfall to make sure that we are prepared. Flooding is a huge concern after relentless winter storms battered the Golden State earlier this year. Now, emergency managers are tracking Hillary, trying to anticipate where resources will be needed most. When the storm hits, some areas could see up to 10 inches of rain. Las Vegas usually gets a little more than four inches of rain in a year. If the storm continues on its path, it could get that amount in one weekend. The last tropical storm to hit Southern California was back in 1939. It dumped more than five inches of rain in Los Angeles, flooding communities and washing away homes. 45 people died. It's a once in a lifetime event. This really is an all hands on deck effort. Now, it's a beautiful, sunny Southern California day right now, but that is likely to change soon. This storm will bring high surf and high winds. That could create treacherous ocean conditions as early as this weekend. Lifeguards are also warning about the runoff from all the rain. That will likely contaminate the water around the beaches here for days after the storm. J.D.? Carr Evans with the latest. And for more...